one called Talking Gummies Blues. I'll try not to do it too fast. Well, one March day a few years ago, our Gummy, she was born at home. And Nana and Papa, they loved that little bit, and they decided to call her. Mignonette, <laughs> which is French, like a baguette, <laughs> sweeter. <laughs> they didn't know it at the time, but Mig would be their only child. She'd be their special girl, and so she started out as number one in the world. <laughs> the bell of the ball. Queen Bee, the Matter Familius, and our Gami. Well, Mignonette, well, she grew up smart. Everybody knew that she had a spark. Started spending summers down south, and she met a fella, and he wasn't a slouch. He was debonair. He was dressed to kill. He was real, real nice. His name was Bill. <laughs> and old Bill, he married this jewel. <coughs> this jewel. And just like that, there were two. Two little lovebirds sitting in a tree, just K I S I N G. <laughs> well, Bill got caught up in World War II, and Meg knew just what to do. She didn't freak out or close up the shutters. She just wrote Bill. And she waited back for his letters. And he came home. That was years after Pearl Harbor. And lo and behold, there was Barbara. <laughs> and old Bill was next. Big brother was he. To a little sister, Bunny. And that made three. And then they were all hanging out in Jack's. Wait a minute. Then they were all hanging out in Jack's. Then they were all hanging out in Jack's. They were all hanging out in Jack's, and Bill worked a lot. He started a small concern that became Florida Rock. <laughs> And their kids grew up and they did what kids do. They started looking around the pair up too. And old Barbara, she was a catch unparalleled, but somehow managed to get wooed over by her. <laughs> there was Billy and his Sandra. And old Buddy's hand, many lads had hoped, but she decided to marry a Newberry boy named. Oh, some dope. <laughs> and Pope. Johnson. Johnson, that is. And that's where we got into the picture. <laughs> and then children were born. They were spoiled grandkids by the ever generous Bill and me. And we had, may have acted like hooligans, but Yami still always took us to Peterson. <laughs> Give us a pirate mask, or a pirate sword, or a whole bunch of candy to eat up under the magnolia tree on Holly Lane. And there was Will and Chris and Mark and Harold, and though Barbara dressed them in nerdy apparel, they turned out well, if not too close to a chip off that old William Block. <laughs> With those heralds home and their ship ashore, that made three more. <laughs> and as for the Johnsons, Mary and the twins, they loved to go to Amelia Island and swim. And when James lost Granddaddy's net in the pond, Granddaddy was about to make him wade into that slime. When along came a giant crab out of the deep. And lo and behold, Granddaddy gave him a reprieve. <laughs> <laughs>